We have more detail about the Supreme Court argument at the end of this month. The National Organization for Marriage has fumbled yet another brief, and two public officials are suing for the right to discriminate against gay couples. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for April 13th, 2015. Here's what to expect on April 28th, when the U.S. Supreme Court hears oral argument on the marriage equality cases. First, the court is only asking two questions. Does the U.S. Constitution require states to issue marriage licenses to gay and lesbian couples, and are the states required to honor marriage licenses from other states? Mary Bonato will argue question one and Doug Hilward Dramir question two. They both get 30 minutes apiece and the states defending their ban get 45 minutes for the first question and 30 minutes for the second question. Solicitor General gets 15 minutes to argue on behalf of the U.S. government and then we'll have several weeks of speculation, ending with a ruling probably sometime around the end of June. The National Organization for Marriage will not be arguing in court, but they did submit a brief last week. They're claiming that public opinion on marriage is still closely divided. That is not even remotely true. Dozens of national surveys show a pretty clear trend in favor of marriage. NAM does cite two surveys that show a majority oppose the freedom to marry, but guess who paid for those two surveys? The National Organization for Marriage. What a coincidence. Also, it's worth pointing out, even if it was true that public support was declining, it doesn't matter. NAM devoted a huge chunk of their brief to arguing about public opinion polls, but public opinion has nothing to do with the two questions the Supreme Court asked. So, good job, NAM. Also this week, the Eighth Circuit has committed to hearing marriage cases in Arkansas, Missouri, Nebraska, and South Dakota on May 12th. Two former magistrates in North Carolina have sued for the right to discriminate against gay and lesbian couples, and a lesbian couple in Guam has sued after being denied a marriage license. Guam is part of the U.S. and part of the Ninth Circuit, which overturned marriage bans last year, so hopefully this will be an easy one to clear up. Those are the headlines. Subscribe here on YouTube to stay up to date on all these stories. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.